Let's just set it down and we'll just roll it. Okay. Oh, watch out, watch out, little buddy. Ready? Go. Watch out, little buddy. Get it, get it, Chase, get it, Chase. All right, welcome to the woods or the area right next to my pole barn. So I have a car capsule showcase under the pole barn, which it's not ideal. It's not really made to be in a semi outdoor location. They're really designed to go in like a big warehouse or a big garage. Uh, but the reason why I put a car capsule showcase out here is because my 991.1 GT3, the blue one, uh, got the harness chewed by a squirrel or rat or mouse or something that costs about 13,000 bucks to fix. So I've had the car capsule out here ever since, which uh, I just pull in. Uh, if you hadn't seen the video, I'd bought the original car capsule, which is a bubble you roll over the car, which I decided we took it out of the store. It just doesn't, doesn't fit. Uh, you'd have to have a car cover in there unless you, you, know, you don't want to scratch the car. So the original car capsule is not something I think is, that is I don't think it's as viable. So this, is an excuse to buy another cool thing to try it out. Uh, but part of my pursuit here is to stop uh, using stock images and I want a video, I want our images, I want a description, I want to have hands-on with every product that's in the Obsess on the Obsessed Garage website. So this is a very expensive uh, product demo purchase, uh, but I realized what I may do, we'll see how this fits here in this area, I may do the outdoor showcase and that'll free up space in the pole barn, uh, which, uh, which I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I may move the car capsule out of here and leave this here temporarily. When I say temporarily, until I come up with about $400,000 to build my garage out back here. So let's unbox it, set it up, and uh, see how it looks. So this one is a thicker, uh, th thicker material and it's, uh, it's a big bright orange bubble. But the difference between the car capsule showcases and the original car capsules is these have columns that have independent, uh, they have their own air, if you will. Uh, and so that's what keeps it inflated even when you unzip it and pull the car out. So it essentially becomes a little portable garage. And so this thing, something like this, could be useful if you do a lot of like detailing events and things like that. Ooh, car capsule. And so for like mobile detailers and things, I'm sure this could become a thing for you. So it has a filter, has the fan, and then has the, we'll unbox this in a little bit, has the big, uh, this is the, like it's almost like an air mattress filler that has a pressure switch or float that, uh, opens up and turns it on when the pressure drops. All right, so this is how it comes. So it came on a pallet. I'd say this thing probably weighs, what do you think? 150 pounds, 175 pounds, something like that. So there's no real way for it to come in a nice pretty box. Uh, it comes you know, with that box and this one on a pallet. And so I'll show you here, it'll make sense what I'm talking about. But this giant monstrosity, of a circle, or looks like a bounce house. Ah! I'm allergic to the outside. That's why I'm so waspy white, Bryce. Bro, stop chewing everything. I got birds and squirrels and dogs and all kinds of animals around here. I'm turning into a good old fashioned animal lover. So we should be able to just pull the cellophane off and roll this puppy out. If I was a real man, I'd have a knife on me, but I don't, and I'm not. Some older, rather, uh, rather spicy older gentleman told me uh, I don't need a vice because I don't know how to change oil. Oh, that's news to me. You can barely even change oil. What do you need a vice for? Said so because I need to be awesome, bro. 
awesome people have vices. You should have refurbished a Wilton or whatever. Like, uh, I like new stuff. I want some stinky old crap. Or I look like a crafter. I'm gonna start to do some crafts in my garage. No, I'm gonna buy a new fancy one. That's what I do. That's what I like. Oh boy. <laughs> that little guy is a, that little guy is a darn in the mischief, man. Okay. So let's try to do this correctly. Oh yeah, this is way thicker. Way more stout. I haven't seen one of the outdoor ones in person yet. No, well, let's just unroll it. Oh, I love the smell of these. So this is the 20 foot version. They do 22 and 24. I'm just interested to see how ridiculous this looks out here in the middle of the yard. It's probably, yeah, I would think like light gray would be a way better color. If it was all this gray. You gotta remember, these are appeal. These are marketed specifically. I'm the first one that's talking about these with like regular car guys, not just goofy classic car guys. You know, the classic car guy market is way bigger than the other markets for buying this kind of stuff. Now, it comes with a couple of patches. Hopefully we won't need. Here's our pump. We don't need instructions, it's for babies. Tube. Pump. The pump will go inside. And I'll route the power cord through. And then that's the fan and filter. We won't need that until it blows up. I'm actually kind of excited about this. So which one is pump? I think it's, that's deflate. This is inflate. Take our tube and we'll take really uh, high quality images of all this stuff. And it'll be on Obsessed Garage on the website. So you'll be able to go look at all these specifically. But you put the little pressure sensor tube on here. You attach it to the fill spot. It's like a spring-loaded, it's like an air mattress, same kind of, same concept as an air mattress. Keep a nice, nice direct flow there. It has two power cord areas to put like a trickle charger, whatever else, or you, or you can plug the, uh, also plug the, the fan in. We'll talk about the fan in a second. The other question is, I don't think the Raptor's gonna fit in this, but I'd like to see if the Raptor will fit. We'll bring some other cars out here to try them too. let it blow up should take about five minutes or so so what this runs off of it's basically a computer fan there's some velcro where it will velcro to the inside then there's a filter that goes on the outside to let you know, keep dust and crap out and then the innocent byproduct of this thing is that the zippers also allow air to filter out and through but in a controlled fashion I wonder how long the Raptor is. The Raptor, I think it might be longer than this. This is a 20 foot. I ordered a 22, but they accidentally sent me the 20, which actually will probably work out better for me. Yeah, I want them to create a OG gray version. I think this one's 4,000 bucks, so these are not cheap. The clear one's like, what, 2,200 or 2,500 or something like that? All right, so we got more patches, which these would be for the, uh, the other showcase. But this is the, uh, what is this, like a little carbon filter or something? 
little sponge filter. Once it's blown up, we'll be able to kind of push it around into position. Actually, once I get this set up, I'll be doing another weekend project. The pollen, pollen season's finally over. And so we'll probably take the other, uh, the other one, I'll pull it into the wash bay and wash off all the pollen. So again, the regular showcase, you won't be able to put outside. You know, it doesn't have any UV protection. It'll, it'll, it just won't go well with sunlight. The only thing with this one, because it, it's a, this will be triangle peaked, you're gonna have to utilize the straps. Because that one, when I open it up, I just flip it up on top. I'm gonna have to devise some sort of system to make it more efficient. So you can see there's columns that, you know, that the, uh, the pump fills up. What do you think, G? This one is substantial, man. Look at this thing. This is like a garage. Holy cow. Oh, it also has the side doors too. <laughs> That's cool. This thing is major. This is literally a 10 by 20 garage. Yeah, so we got the straps. But how do I strap this thing to it? Oh, are the straps? Oh, there they are. Okay, I see. Yeah, I don't like this at all. I wonder if I can just do this. Okay, we'll be fine to do that, I think. I just want something quick and simple so I can pull in and out. Yeah, that'll still work. All right, check this out. Holy crap. Yeah, the columns are much more substantial. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, I, I reached to eight feet. The problem is, is the Raptor isn't going to fit in here because this is uh, a little uh, like six feet. Yeah, the Raptor, I'm, I'm not as tall as the Raptor, am I? Yeah, Raptor ain't going to fit. I bet you a regular F-150 would fit, you know, that has like 32s on it or whatever they have, 33s. What do you think, buddies? It's small. Is this really where you're gonna put every... Is this a like bubble? Yep. Is this like a bubble, Dad? This is a bubble. So I don't think, Bryce, you think this bubble will fit in the... Uh... Yeah, no. Like under here? Why are you guys here? No, not even close. Yeah, I mean, look how look how high that is. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if he could. I wonder if he could. Def, I wonder if he could deflate it and just let it jam wherever it jams into. Listen, if the wind comes through here and there's no car in there, it'll be stuck in there. And then. What do you think, Ryan? I got myself a portable garage. I thought you said it was going to be a couple hours. Uh, well, I was lying to you, I guess. It's tricking you. Ow. All right, let's put the computer fan. Yeah, it's pretty quick, huh? Mm -hmm. So, what's up, Pupster? Pupster's in here. <laughs> so this thing will just Velcro right to there. Oops, wrong way. So, I'm gonna take the filter and tuck it in here. And it's gonna be easier to do from the other side. So the outdoor one has a little pocket that protects the filter. I'm gonna spend the night in this. I want to tent. I can go camping in here. Yeah, me too. We can bring this on a camping trip. We're not camping. We don't camp, Rye. Yes, we do. Mormons do not camp. Yes, we do! We did one time. Mommy was all fired up, ready to buy an RV and go camping all the time. And we went camping one time. And well, she said never here? again. Oh. All right, we got it. Don't let him shoot everything. Just temporarily, what I'll do is I actually take gorilla tape. So I'll take some gorilla tape to tape this up. Good boy. Good boy. I'm teaching him. Yep. Yeah. She's 
looking at the camera, make sure they saw that. So I'll have to figure out what to do with the power. I'm going to route the power cord. I don't want to put my nice, pretty, pretty blue, brand new power cord on the ground, but I'm just going to have to suck it up here. And so that fan will run 24 seven and cycle air through. And so all the zippers here, oh, that's cool, this one, these Velcro down to close off the zippers. Okay, so the, this is part of the door. Now with any showcase or any car capsule, the owner taught me pull out and then unzip. So keep pressure on the zipper. That's what keeps it from binding up. So you want to be more aggressive with the zipper. I was always being gentler with it. All right. So yeah, so you can open these up to get out. I find that this is big enough that you don't even have to do that. What do you think, should we pull, uh, pull a car in here real quick? Show you what it looks like. See, that's super annoying. So you have to do this. And then take this thing. There's gotta be a better way to do this. Like I wouldn't want to do this every time I go to get my car out. Because to me, the showcase is about pulling in and out. So I never, again, I never actually open the side doors. I just, this, this thing's wide enough that I don't even have to squeeze out. Well, let's go pull, uh, pull the M3 in here and I'll show you. Oh, little people. So I'd be driving down the driveway this way. I wonder if it probably makes sense for me to, I don't know. I think kind of like the angle it's sitting. That I could just back out into the pole barn and then drive off. So I'd drive in this way. I always pull off the right side. That way I can open my door like this. <coughs> and just rather than having to open the side, I just get out and then zip it up. This is ridiculous. How do I get myself into these things, Bryce? So we've got room. So I'm a little tighter to this, so it's a little tighter to walk down this side, but I could if I wanted to. But then the left side, since I pulled over to the right, look, I can just walk in here, walk around, and I still have a few feet this way. So yeah, the 20 foot is for cars is gonna be perfect. You wouldn't, I don't think you'd want any bigger. Cause I mean, I've got, I've got two and a half feet there I got plenty of room here because the longer ones aren't any wider. And then I've got, say, two and a half feet here. And then I would just take, zip it up. And the computer fan keeps air cyc cycling through. around, set the Velcro, so the regular showcase doesn't have this Velcro to keep the outdoor elements out. Yeah, I'd say 
and you'd know it's like a rodent or something. Obviously, they could chew through this. The rats can chew through brick. You just saw my dog chewing rocks, so you, you'd know if something got in here because you'd see a hole. So check it out. And so we have the computer fan running. It'll cycle air through. I'm assuming you know this isn't airtight again. The zippers, some air escapes through the zippers, and then I guess out the Velcro. But so you get decent fresh air cycling through, which helps manage humidity. And then I wouldn't leave the windows open, but I guess you probably could leave the windows open if you wanted to. And then um, the other pump has a pressure switch on it that if the, as the pressure drops, you know, it'll cycle on for a second or two just to, uh, you know, to fill it up. And so that's why you keep an extension cord plugged in. Cost you a buck a month or something to run this thing. And that's the showcase. And now I have a pop-up tent garage that looks like a giant eyesore on my property. But my car is protected. <laughs> so, which one do you like better? That one? Or this one? I think they both need to exist. So we have them. Okay, I don't think I'm missing anything else. Make sure to go check out the other car capsule videos on the channel. Uh, I did a video on the original. I've done a video on the showcase. I've done some videos on cleaning. I've done this videos on cleaning and the old showcase that I had. Uh, and then obviously this, and we'll probably have a few more uh, of some of the other, you know, be able to get the motorcycle one and some of the others to show you what they look like. But I think I'm gonna keep this thing out here for a while. We'll see how long I can stomach seeing this thing. But, you know, depending on where you live, um, depending on what your location looks like, uh, this is certainly a really stout, really viable option. Um, you know, to park your car in, keep it out of the elements. You know, if you're building a big fancy garage and you had a nice fancy car and you didn't have anywhere to store it for the time being, I know it's an expensive option, but these things have good resale value. Um, every time I've ever had one listed for sale, like one of the ones I you know, was testing or used, they always sell for a you know, decent sum. So even if it was a temporary solution, like for me, I'm hoping to build a garage in the next year. You have to go, go inside the hex and I'll explain you know, all that stuff. The inside the hex membership program, but yeah, it's pretty good. I think it's, I think it's ridiculous. I mean, just look at the scale of how big this thing is. I mean, that's eight feet right there. So it's pretty, pretty substantial versus the regular, regular showcase. So this one, I'm gonna lean in here a little bit. to give you a scale. The doorway is the same, looks like. So the doorway is about six feet, but the, the, uh, the ceiling, and you know, they're making it gable styles or, or at an angle so that I guess all the elements and crap don't sit on top, just falls off. Okay, so go to uh, obsessedgarage.com. Uh, we provide these, of course, they're drop shipped because I don't, I don't, at least at this moment, April 22nd, 2020, I don't, uh, I don't stock these. The goal would be for me to stock everything that I sell in the future, uh, but these would take up a ton of space, so we drop ship them. But it does help me out a lot if you, you buy them from me. Um, yeah, this is a good solution. So go to obsessedgarage.com, car capsule, and uh, we'll have the ones that I suggest. I've removed all the ones that I wouldn't recommend. So outdoor capsule, it's a good solution. It's pretty neat out here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. As always, stay tuned for more crazy.
He's got tape stuck to him. I'll help you. I'll help you. I'll help you. That's no good. That's no good. Ah! <laughs> he pounced like a cat. Dang, bro. Aren't you guys supposed to be doing schoolwork? No. We're just screwing it. You think? <laughs> she said we're just screwing it. Is that what you said? No, you can't say that, Jay. That's a bad. You're not supposed to speak like that. <laughs> I think she meant mommy must have just said screw it. <laughs> we're just screwing it. <laughs>